morning guys happy tuesday is it tuesday yeah yeah it is now tuesday i'll explain to you later why the vlog didn't vlog on saturday but we are out this morning super early to shoot a really exciting campaign we've officially booked our second campaign together which is so cool <laughs> little sneak peek we're on the tennis court mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to say hello, good morning, introduce the vlog. I've got a busy day today, so we're gonna get shooting and I'll catch you guys in a little while. It's now Thursday and I still haven't given you guys an update. I thought I'd catch you guys up whilst I'm just like doing my skincare routine. I've just got out of the shower and washed my hair and stuff. Oh, I can open the cupboard without hitting you, that's perfect. So, what had happened was, <laughs> I started vlogging on Saturday and I was saying, oh, I'm going down to London, it's my best friend's birthday. And we're gonna surprise her, me and her sister are gonna surprise her with like puppy yoga. Her sister arranged all of this and it was really, really cute. And I was super excited to take you guys with me and it was Pomeranians and it was so cute. I saw photos. I'll tell you why. Had a really weird start to the morning. Had a really, really bad night's sleep. Woke up and I was like, okay, cool, I've got to get ready, I've got to get down there on time, da da da. Had my train booked and everything. Get on the train, and when there's about half an hour left of the journey, the driver, whoever announced that there was going to be a, a diversion, and that was going to be about another half an hour. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. I'll be a bit late, hopefully, I'll still make it. Yeah, I don't usually pee on trains, but because there was a diversion, I was like, I need to go. So, go to the toilet, do my business, pulling me, me leggings, me trackies back up. Guess what falls out of my ear? My AirPod. And I'm not even, I'm not even gonna lie, without thinking about it, you know, like you just have a, uh, what's it called, like a reflex, like an automatic reaction. I tried to catch it and it hit my hand three times before it fell into the toilet. So naturally my hand just went straight down into the toilet that I had just peed in. And also it's a train toilet which made me like, you know, I just wanted to, it wasn't, it wasn't my proudest moment. Oh, this feels so good. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. Finally get to Houston from Manchester after the delays, after I'd lost my AirPod and like had a little cry about it. Embarrassing. Obviously I was already, well, actually I, I don't think I was late. I think I had like 10 minutes, which in my head for some reason I thought I'd get there on time. I run to WH Move as quickly as possible and pick up just any headphones that I could get um, so that I'd have something for the journey back because I think that the train was two hours 40 on the way back because for some reason it just was. I was not doing that without headphones or anything else for entertainment. This was just absolutely not. So bought the headphones, went outside to catch a cab. I think about five Ubers canceled on me. And by that point, I wasn't making the puppy yoga, I was fuming. So ended up getting the train, met my friends, they'd just come out, it was great. And then we went for brunch and after that point it was really, really fun. And we went to a place called Serata. Would absolutely recommend it, it's such a lovely place for brunch. It was awesome. Somehow, I think I jokingly said to my bestie like, oh my God, come back to Manchester because it was a friend's birthday in Manchester as well. And I actually wasn't gonna go because I had a lot on over the last few days and I was like, I just need to sleep. And obviously I hadn't had a good night's sleep. But then I jokingly said, oh, why don't you come to Manchester? Because um, it's someone else's birthday tonight. And she said, yeah, so that happened. After everything that happened that morning on my way down to London, I was like, I'm determined to not let this ruin my day. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> and then we ended up having like the best time. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as I did my skincare. Now we're gonna sit down and chill because it's been like a really hectic last few days. We're gonna watch a movie. As you guys know, I am part of Sky Cinema Club. I, it's so weird saying that. Like I'm still like, how have I landed this job? Like, it's just so cool. So what that means is I get exclusive access to all of their movies and shows and stuff early and I get to share my thoughts and opinions and views with you guys and we can just have a chat about what we love um, in the comments. This month I'm so excited because it's like a part two of a throwback. We're watching Ghostbusters. My boyfriend's been begging me to watch this at the cinema but we just never had the time to and now we're gonna watch it tonight and we're both just like this is like so nostalgic. It's like reliving childhood. Yeah, I think it's gonna be real fun. Just bang together a quick little Hello Fresh meal. Right, let's get to the movie. I'm so excited. Might even have a cheeky glass of wine. Are you kidding? Is what just came out of my mouth when I saw this. That is so beautiful. 
oh my god i think this is the best sunset we've had so far it's stunning like my breath is gone and i know the camera's not even gonna do it justice the window cleaners did a shitty job though <laughs> our windows just got cleaned literally like two days ago i don't think you'll be able to see it but the sight of it I think it's time. I've never tried this flavor before and I'm so excited. I found this today in the Super Orchid in Tesco's. Oh, I cannot wait, mate, I'll tell you that. Okay guys, Ghostbusters, let's talk about it. Right, I'm gonna talk you through it whilst I'm getting ready because I'm in a rush. Got to go shopping before the shops get too busy. Do you know what I mean? Babe's got work to do. So basically, premise of the movie, a mother and her two kids um, move into a town and discover that they've got like connections to the original Ghostbusters and that actually the grandfather, so the, the the mother's father was an original Ghostbuster and they kind of discover what it's all about. The kids didn't know anything about it because they were too young. They end up moving into his old house and they discover all of his things and like weird stuff starts to happen. Me and my boyfriend were just talking about the movie and how pleasantly surprised we were firstly at how well it was done because I feel like sometimes when it comes to um, not remakes, but like when they make like a part two to a classic years and years and years later, sometimes it doesn't always hit the same. And I was kind of skeptical. I was excited because it was very nostalgic and it's something that I grew up watching. So I was excited either way, but it was so much better than I expected it to be. Like I really, really enjoyed it. They did the movie so well and there was like loads of references to the original, but it was done in a really smart, like subtle way. And yeah, I don't know, it was so good, it was so good. All I'm saying is if you watch it, the little marshmallow men. Let's talk about the marshmallow men. The like child actors were so good as well. It was one of the kids from Stranger Things. And then the daughter was also an incredible actor and her friend. He was so funny. It's family friendly, but without being like cheesy, like it still has those elements of not fear, but there was moments where I was like on the edge of my seat, like, oh my God, if I was in this situation, I would not be okay. I would not know how to deal with this. Yeah, it was honestly awesome. Again, the cinematography was great. Um, the styling was great. It was really, really well done. The effects were really, really good. Honestly, 10 out of 10, and I'm surprised that I'm saying that. I thought I would enjoy it because it would be nostalgic for me, but like if I had never watched the first movie, if I was like younger and didn't know what Ghostbusters was, I feel like I'd still really enjoy the movie. It just had everything it needed, like comedy, action, amazing acting. Obviously the nostalgic part is always great. I'm a nostalgic kind of girl. 10 out of 10 recommend. So if you guys have not seen it yet, check it out. Let's talk about it. I want to talk about these marshmallow men and the creature with its head in the bag. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if you guys are fans of like the nostalgia and the classics, there's so many other like amazing blockbuster movies on Sky Cinema. Um, things like Shrek, which is an all-time classic. Miss Congeniality, Jurassic Park. We stand Jurassic Park. I used to be obsessed with that. I used to convince myself that dinosaurs would come back eventually. <laughs> Please let me know if you have seen the new Ghostbusters and what you thought. And if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. I promise you, you won't regret it. It was so good. Anyway, I'm on a time crunch. I need to finish getting ready. And then I'm gonna help Bay shoot some reels for work. And then we're gonna go have a look around the shops. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Oh my God, we're going to the Traffords. I haven't been to the Trafford Centre since moving. I think I've only ever been once. But I promise you guys, it's like a theme park. Like it's wild in there. <laughs> that it, it's, I, I don't, it's not a real place. It feels like Disneyland. I've got so much stuff to do. And look at my nails. What is that? It's like they conspire together against me. It was a proper feel good movie. I'm like, I'm in a good mood today. Things that take you back to your childhood, they are key. I've only gone and left my memory card at home, so we're doing phone vlogs. Been to Urban Outfitters, bagged some stuff. I haven't tried anything on. My plan is to try it on, on at home and just hope for the best. Um, we're now at the Trafford Centre, about to go have a little mooch around, but I wanted to show you what it looks like, because it's crazy cool. Not being funny, look at this place. Just been. 
fishy. It is a bit fishy, I'm not gonna lie. Lardy grass. <laughs> wow, look inside there. This is the bit I wanted to show you guys that I remembered from last time. Like, where are we? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? Back home in my orange tea, finally. It's been a long day, it is now half six. We've been up all day. Safe to say the shopping trip was unsuccessful. <laughs> Trafford Centre's cool. I'm so gutted that I didn't bring my memory card. Oh, I need to put my mic in. Okay, mic's in, that hopefully sounds a little bit better now. Yeah, it was unsuccessful. Like, as cool as the Trafford Centre is, in terms of like, the design. I'm not gonna lie, the shop selection, ah, it's just not the best for me. Do you know what? I'm missing weekday a lot. Uh, we don't have weekday in Manchester at the moment. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Weekday, if you're watching this, I know they're not, but if you are, <laughs> please, please, please bring your stores to Manchester. I know they'll do so well. But yeah, I think I said earlier, I've made an, a weekday order, like a huge weekday order, and I'm just hoping and praying that it comes in time. And I'm also getting sent some stuff from Night Swim, which is Gabby I think is how you pronounce it. She's an amazing fitness influencer. I've been following her for years. It's her own brand, which is in, I, like it blows my mind that they even know who I am. They've sent me two already, but I can't access them because everything's in storage like right at the back. Ugh, it's hard to pack for this trip because I don't have all of my stuff here. So I'm having to just like spend loads of money and I haven't had time to go shopping because I've been so busy. But yeah, the shopping trip was unsuccessful. I've got one skirt from Urban Outfitters and one top from Zara amongst loads of other stuff that I bought that I'm gonna have to return. Didn't waste any time trying stuff on, I thought I'll do it when I get back. So I'm scrambling um, for clothes. I Please ignore the amount of tabs open, but I've just made an ASOS order. So hopefully some of that stuff works. I'm stressed, you guys. I don't even know like what I wanna wear. I feel like I can't find anything that represents like my style and I don't have time. Like the websites that I would wanna order from, I don't think I'll have time for them to come in time. But I'm just hoping and praying that it all works out. I've just got so much to do. <laughs> I think also once I've got my hair done, cause you know the way your hair is like definitely changes how you feel about an outfit. So I'm hoping once I get my hair done, I'll feel a bit more like confident in like the styling of things and hopefully I feel like they'll just maybe flow a little bit better. I still need to get accessories, bags, but I'm trying to get the outfits together first so that I can quickly just run out and grab bits and bobs that I think will match well with it. I don't even know what to do right now. <laughs> I'm so stressed. And also like some of the stuff that I'd bought a while back for this trip that I thought I would love, I absolutely hate. <laughs> like it just doesn't hit the same on as it does when you're just looking at it. But that's always the way, isn't it? So yeah. Luckily my accessories in terms of like jewelry is sorted. So that's good. <laughs> just need some shoes. I've ordered a pair of Dr. Martens, like a white pair, which I'm super excited about that I've wanted for ages and I have an excuse to buy them. But yeah, I'm stressing about this guys. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And I can't even ask you guys for advice. Maybe I'll ask you guys on Instagram actually. But yeah, let's just hope and pray that the stuff I've ordered on ASOS kind of like just brings together brings things together a little bit more that will definitely make things a little bit easier but for now i'm gonna carry on shopping because i'm stressed also i met the loveliest subscriber in zara earlier um i'm so sorry i didn't catch your name i'm i was so flustered today i just wanted to say thank you so much for coming up and saying hi it really made my day genuinely you were oh, your energy was amazing and yeah it was so lovely to meet you hopefully i'll bump into you again soon Good morning guys. Oh my god, I look crazy. Happy Saturday. Please ignore the mess. It is a packing frenzy. I had an inspection on Thursday, so I literally like completely tidied the flat the other day and it's already a mess again because obviously I've been trying on loads of stuff. Oh my god, I haven't even said why I've been trying on loads of stuff. I'm packing because I'm going to I'm going away on an exciting work trip and then my boyfriend is actually going to come and we've extended our trip for a few more days because the day that we leave is actually our one year anniversary so we thought we'd extend the trip. Excuse the mess, I am just, I was like in a frenzy getting ready um, but thankfully the 
hair place has just called me and said that their stylist is running a bit late so can I come in an hour later so I've got some time now I've got like another two hours I'm just prepping my hair I need to blow dry it and have I told you I'm getting my hair done I don't even know this is how my brain is at the moment but yeah I'm getting my hair done today and I'm super excited doing a style that I haven't done for a very long time so it's quite nostalgic as well and also it's just gonna be super easy especially for where I'm going and stuff I just don't want to have to stress about doing my hair and I don't want to have to I don't want to just wear it in a bun because it's easy like I want that versatility so yeah I'm excited I need to go down and get some parcels as well there's so many things I need to do I want to take you guys on my hair appointment I'm a little bit nervous about vlogging especially with such a massive camera but I'll bring it and I'll see what the vibes are saying um and if not I'll just use my phone or I'll show you guys the end result but for now I'm gonna blow dry my hair I'm gonna eat I'm gonna try and get my returns done because there's still so much to do. I've got to try everything on. I still don't have all the outfits I need. <laughs> I'm panicking. Picked up my parcels. We have got some green sides. Oh, they're so sexy. And they're the soft leather as well. I got the Pascal Max. So they're kind of like the Jaden. Um, I think they're less high. They've got that softer leather, which is so nice and they're just that little bit more chunky. Not that I need the height, but I just feel like the shoe just looks a bit more like, mm. you guys know how I am with big, ugly shoes. Hey guys, I've just got back. This is my hair. I feel like it legit just looks like my hair, my own hair when I straighten it, which I'm so here for. I don't know if you guys can see the green, but there's so much green in my hair. I got a weave. I went to House of Tinu, I think is how you pronounce it. I'll leave the link down below. I'm definitely gonna trim it and like trim my own hair because it's so dead and then dye it. I bought just like a mahogany brown color because I guess it's like red toned to counteract the green. Also, I think it will blend in well with the rest of the hair but yeah i'm overall i'm super happy they provided the hair which was great i think next time i'll probably go a bit longer because when she was sewing it in like half the hair was like hanging down here and it looked so good um especially like wavy but yeah i'm super happy with the way it's looking so yeah i'm just gonna continue doing what i gotta do there's still so much to do um i've just got another parcel that i'm gonna open up now oh by the way i got a versatile weave so that i can like yeah kind of swoop it and stuff as well i left a bit more hair out at the top bad news these i had to get a cab home i started walking home yeah it got to the point where i literally could not walk i was in so much pain so i'm pretty sure i've got some kind of a serious blister going on i do feel like i've put the wrong socks on with them though and i also put an insole in which maybe wasn't the best decision how can i put you down Ow! oh my god it's so painful oh my god no i can't i can't oh my god ouch oh my god it's actually really bad no i'm not gonna show you that's gross happy just sunday guys i just got back from the gym i hip thrusted 100 kg for three times 10 which is uh and strong. I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I need a couple of days to just like do the things I need to do and I feel like this vlog is already really long as you've been able to see it's not coherent because my brain is all over the place so I just need to take a few days um, and then kind of just <laughs> be ready to vlog when I'm out in Ibiza I realized as I was editing this vlog that I, I was like I'm going shopping I'm going away, I'm doing my hair before this trip and I haven't even told you what's going on. Clearly a reflection of my state of mind. But um, yeah, I'm going away. So that's what I was prepping for, for this whole vlog pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I've got like two days to go. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I will see you guys on the way there when I get there. I don't know yet, but I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I love y'all and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Drink it.